I'm Raul Garcia. I'm Terry Gibbons. I'm Chaz Hunter, and we will be a presenter today on the computer assembly tutorial. Okay, so this holds all of your computer components, and this specific computer has a latch to it to open it. We have so. right here is the power supply, which converts AC to DC, alternate current to direct and also powers the motherboard and all of its components and now what I will do is show you how to insert the power supply into your desktop you wanna make sure that when you put the power supply in you hear somewhat of a click And once you hear that click, you know that your power supply is safely and properly placed into the desktop. Make sure that your power, power supply is fastened into the desktop. You want to uh, apply three bolts into the outside which I will show you now. And this is the motherboard. The motherboard is divided into two sectors. And that would be the north side being the CPU, the RAM, and the south side being the PCI ports and mainly the hard drives. Now we're going to insert the motherboard. Always try to align the ports. And right now I'm just going to screw in the motherboard and tighten it in place. This is the CPU. It's the brain of the computer. It connects with the RAM and sends instructions to run the program. Theory. Uh, this is the heatsink. It stays above the processor. It, tra it transfers the heat from the processor out through this fan and disperses it. There's also another heatsink, which is a passive heatsink, which doesn't have a fan, and this one is inactive. It has a fan because it needs power to power the fan. And now I'm going to screw in the heatsink. All you do is press it down lightly. Screw in the sides, make sure not to do it too hard or else you'll damage the motherboard. This is your hard drive. This is the primary storage for your OS system and all of your programs. It has a, cap it has a capacity of 320 gigabytes. And you want to insert it like so. Your RAM stick. RAM stands for random access memory. You always want to grab your RAM stick by the sides like so. Touching the chips can cause electro electrostatic discharge, which causes the RAM to stop working. When inserting the RAM, you place the RAM in until you hear it click. Then that'll let you know that you are connected. What I have in my hand is the optical drive. This is the component that plays CDs and DVDs and also reads and writes data onto those CDs or DVDs. What I'll do right now is insert it into the desktop. Very easy. So you hear the click, once you hear the click, then you know that the optical drive has been safely and securely put into the... In system. some cases, you may be forced to remove the desktop, the face of the desktop, in order to remove the optical drive. When you put the optical drive back in, you just clip the face back on, and it's like brand new. 